LB001. Uh, made by the same company that makes was probably the most popular FDM 3D printer out there, the Ender 3. It's interesting to see what their uh, SLA printer is like. Um, not nearly as popular as the other ones, as far as like the uh, <coughs> the Photon and those go. Uh, a little bit higher price point, uh, a little bit smaller build volume. So 120 by 120 by 70 millimeter, where currently like the, the Photon gives you a 115 by 65 by 120. So got a little bit more in the XY on the Creality, but uh, not as much Z. So let's take a look here. surface here, some kind of a, a plastic material of some kind. Hard, hard plastic of some kind. Put that later. Resin vat. Alright, let's see what's in our <coughs> accessory box here. Something I've always found kind of funny about Creality products. Some of their translations are a little bit interesting. Um, <clears throat> to be the chief evangelist, this is the LD001 series printer guidebook. <clears throat> Apparently, after we've read this, we'll be the, the chief evangelist. So, this is my first look at the instructions. So, um, you know, your guess will be as good as mine as to how the, the uh, setup goes. Uh, I'm not familiar with this at all, so we'll be working through this a bit at a time. <clears throat> There's our power cord. Got some sample resin in here. 250 milliliters of gray. Our tool pack. USB card. Scraper. Our standard stuff. Port wrenches. Ah, we got a little stylus for the touch screen. Should come in handy. Latex examination gloves. Usually get nitro. Some filter funnels. Plastic scraper. Nice high quality brush. A couple of spare screws. And of course rest of the power supply and the always important masks. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in, set up, and ready to run. So I found this setting to uh, put it in English which makes it much 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 easier for us. It's buried in there uh, in the settings. Luckily you can kind of follow the uh, 
the icons to a point, you know, settings was a gear, it's kind of universal. Then the little globe thing allowed me to change language. So what I'm going to do is attempt to calibrate it here and get it uh, level. Um, again, there's no instructions in the instruction manual, so I'm just going to wing it here. We'll do it the way we do it with other printers. And that's it. Home. I'm going to use a sheet of paper like we would with the... the uh, Photon or any of those type of printers. Good. Axis. Fifty millimeters. Drop in our resin vat. And a red. I don't believe that there's anything on that disc at all. It's Halfway, a little less. Go home, print, print. Now it's giving me the uh, option to change uh, layer settings. I say get, got a 58 second exposure for two layers, and then eight seconds layer after that. I'm going to go ahead and use the default settings for the printer since I don't know any better right now, but that's what's there, so we're going to try it. Hit the print button. I think I got it there. There we go. It started. Showing us an image of the layer it's printing there. Progress bar on the bottom. I'll show you zero percent now. We'll watch, see if it gets first layer on there, and if it does, we'll come back and check on it later. So this is going to be a very exciting print. It's just going to be some shapes. It should be about sixty seconds there. 58 seconds anyway. First layer.
Hurry up and wait. You hear any discernible pop, but sometimes you don't. Come back in a little while and see if we've got anything. It's 200 layer print, it's eight seconds a layer, so I'll give you an idea how long it's going to take there. So let's do a thing. First print is complete on the Creality printer. I had to swap cameras out of here because the battery died on my old one, my other one there. Yeah. <laughs> but it died, so we're going to swap it out with a different camera angle. It's the reason for the slightly different camera angle. <laughs> and the printer was supposed to print. Calibration, nothing too exciting. We'll pop that off and get another print loaded in there and see how it does. It's an interesting print surface, first time I've seen that.